All right, welcome. There is the embargo lifted now for Venom The Last Dance, and we're getting some social media reactions slash reviews. Now, lots of people uh, will be giving their full reviews on Wednesday, but these reactions are a form of a review. You get an impression of what people think about a movie, obviously just not in depth. Um, so I thought we'd take a look at it. I always do this for movies that either I'm looking forward to or things which are rather large films, uh, things which the wider populace are looking forward to. So let's have a look at some of this stuff. It's it's interesting. It is interesting. Now, it it's not a huge opening weekend that they're expecting. Um, it says that there's they think it's going to be about a $70 million debut, which is not horrendous. Um, it is lower than the other films. But the second film was not very well received, so it's not really a huge surprise that the opening for this one would be a bit lower. But here we have it. So Josh Wilding says, I've seen Venom The Last Dance, and it's the most cinematic, monumental Venom movie to date. Eddie Brock and Venom's dynamic is at its strongest in this one, and the stakes are so much higher. I had a lot of fun with this one. The final act is bonkers. Is it perfect? Nah, far from it. However, it's leaps and bounds ahead of Venom and has way meatier plot than Venom Let There Be Carnage. The Spider-Man 4 rumours have been blown out of proportion, in my opinion, but Venom The Last Dance left me wanting more of these two, and Null, mostly. That's quite an in-depth one. I mean, again, you know, people say they're just reactions. That's that's a pretty in-depth... That's, that's, that's an in-depth thought, you know, that's been put here. So I, I, I count these as reviews. Uh, Chris Killian says Venom The Last Dance is a wacky buddy road trip that stretches its PG-13 rating as far as it will possibly go. Simply put, Venom 3 is classic guilty pleasure cinema. <laughs> this will annoy people. Turn your brains off and let Venom snack on them. Yeah. People aren't going to like the turn your brains off thing. Null is creepy. I love the way they use him and set him up as a future threat. Fingers crossed this isn't Tom Hardy's last dance with Venom. And that we'll see him face to face with Spider-Man when we least expect it. Now that's interesting. But yeah, the turn your brain off business. It's not going to make people happy. Uh, Venom The Last Dance from Drew Taylor says, Is the best of the Venom movies. The insanity has been ramped up significantly, but so has the heart. It's not perfect, but it's super entertaining. And there's a giant monster that chews people up and sprays blood out the back of its head. Pretty nuts. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Uh, someone here says, Venom The Last Dance is phenomenal. Laughs, even a cry maybe. Some fun surprises and confirmations. Tom Hardy's Venom. Confirmations? What does that mean? Future Spider-Man stuff maybe? Probably, let's be honest. Uh, f this one here from Joseph... Uh, let me just roll, scroll this up. Joseph Deckelmeyer says, Venom The Last Dance takes you on a wild and exhilarating journey from start to finish. It's a fun popcorn movie that reminds me of the early 2000s comic book movies. A lot of use of movie there. Uh, the action is great and is a tribute to action films from the 80s. There's a ton of funny moments. Are there plot holes and some issues with the story? Yes. Is it fun? Also, yes. Again, it does sound like a switch your brain off movie, to be honest. Uh, but in the last dance, he's Tom Hardy go all in for a fun finale befitting the franchise with snacks of, of stacks of set pieces ranging from kooky to crazy. This doesn't hold back with the, phenom the phenomenal action. Take it for what it is. This is another switch your brain off comment. Take it for what it is. Grab some popcorn and go with the flow of this raging road movie. Yeah, people aren't going to like that. This no switch your brain off stuff and then you'll like it. That's just code for yeah, it's pretty shit actually, but just shut up and enjoy it. Uh Atom says Venom the Last Dance review, a huge epic and emotional finale. Tom Hardy gives everything and Sony has never been better. Stunning action satisfies with all 19 inches. Not just another Venom movie. Uh, it's one of the best comic book films ever. Really? A fitting end, setting up what's next. Is it really? One of the best comic book movies ever? Really? Press X to doubt on that. What? Behave. Um, but interesting again, saying setting up what's next. 
Uh, he continues and says, Cinematic fun with unbelievable scope, a feast for the fans, and a true love letter that honours the franchise. It delivers great humour, bold action, and engaging story. Marvel and Sony surprises galore. Must see in theatres opening night. Uh, so that's, again, that, and he's put a bunch of spiders, spider webs and stuff. So he, yeah, it looks like it teases Spider-Man. And there are more. There's more things here. Look, spiders. So people are teasing Spider-Man. Um, Marvel and Sony surprises galore. So yeah, they're teasing Spider-Man. Uh, just got out Venom The Last Dance. Tom Hardy is absolutely at his best in this as Eddie Brock and Venom, with a great cast of characters including Juno Temple, Chiwetel Ejiofor, and tons of symbiote goodness. This is not one to miss. And then has the spider. So yeah, they're teasing Spider-Man. Uh, I think Venom The Last Dance is the best of the three, while still being incredibly bad. <laughs> uh, sorry, that just caught me by surprise. Uh, it's bizarre and watchable because it's willing to try anything. Symbiote fish? Sure. Mrs. Chen dance sequence? Why not? I laughed a few times, but this trilogy accomplished very little. <laughs> That's brutal. Uh, Eric Voss, as I saw Venom The Last Dance, it's a confidently bonkers trip that indulges in 90s sci-fi action camp. It's got a metal opening and a wild climax. The first Venom movie that doesn't need Spider-Man, in my opinion. Very weird, very fun. Just the right amount of null. Uh, there are a few confusing, unfulfilled promises. But then the movie throws a handful of other surprising joys at you that you don't feel too let down. The movie also establishes one kind of weird detail about the MCU that I'm looking forward to overanalyzing. Well, that doesn't sound good, does it? That doesn't sound good at all. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, who knows? Those are the first reviews of this movie. What do you What do you think? <laughs> I can't believe the one that was like, yeah, it's bad. Where is it again? It really did catch me off guard, to be honest. Um, here you go. It's incredibly, still being incredibly bad. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, look. Hey, interesting. This, this, this is shilling though. It's one of the best comic book films ever. I'll bollocks is it ever whatever um i'd love to hear your thoughts though are you looking forward to this are you not let me know down below yeah let me know all your thoughts give the video a like and a share cheers guys take care bye bye now